Faculty and staff of the Dominica State College highlighted their grievances over poor working conditions to the world on Monday. Instead of performing their normal work duties, the affected employees demonstrated with placards on the grounds of the learning institution. A letter from the protesters was circulated on Sunday saying that several long-standing issues have failed to be resolved despite meetings and consultations that have occurred over the years. Employees are concerned about stalled salary negotiations, the absence of a functioning board of governors for the institution, the lack of key senior management personnel, and the deplorable state of several essential campus buildings, including the library, auditorium, computer rooms, classrooms, and tech block workshops. The staffers also want a new collective bargaining agreement negotiated, one which reverses the decrease in base salary from $4,000 to $3,200 per month. Local media outlet Emo News had cameras at the State College campus this morning and filmed the footage you are now seeing. Lecturers at DSC took them on a tour of the facility, which they say is badly in need of repair. Okay, so we have not been able to use him at all. That's supposed to be the RAM. Oh, yes. That's supposed to be the area of the RAM for the automobile. That's supposed to be the store room. What is this? That's supposed to be the RAM, they said. No, but what is in there? It's a most perfected RAM. Not even to clean and keep it tidy for when we are to fix it, to preserve what has been left behind. Not even that is being there. We have a couple of universal drills. Again, again, we try to save them. We had some grinding machines, the guillotine, some press, like in the weather has done some terrible justice to them. So the cost of material around here is worth over a million dollars, and they're just left exposed to the elements. One company was supposed to have done the covering, but up till this day, we have, we have not seen them. And now our students who should be learning to use these, we should have been trained on them. This is what's happening to them, and they have not received the necessary training. And these lecturers have been working miracles, making magic, to try to ensure that the students get some sort of training, because we don't have control over this. This roadway is BC9. And for the hurricane, I've been lacking resources. And this is why I'm here, to protest the working conditions. The tour also took the cameras past overgrown fields supposedly designated for agricultural subjects and abandoned structures that used to serve as training areas for hospitality and tourism students. The displaced students, according to the faculty, are now competing for classroom space with those in other courses, putting further pressure on the infrastructure that is actually operational. The classroom blocks that are in use, the teachers say, are still woefully inadequate for the task of educating the nation's children. Ceilings are missing, having sustained water damage through during Hurricane Maria in 2017. The resultant bare galvanized facilitates echoes, making it difficult to hold simultaneous classes in adjacent rooms. In other classrooms, the floor dips and buckles precariously as it meets the wall, strongly suggesting major structural issues that require immediate attention. Teachers say that this morning's protest action is meant to bring home the issue to the Dominican public. We think that if Dominicans knew what was going on and what their children who come to the Dominican State College have to be going through, then we would get their support and something can be done. They say they'll keep at it until officials address the situation. And so on, do oh, you? Once we do not get engaged by the uh -huh. appropriate authorities, we'll be here tomorrow. We'll okay. be here the day after. We are not stopping because we have done all. We've gone through the proper avenues prior uh -huh. to. We've had the meetings. Uh -huh. We've written the letters. Uh -huh. Right? And this time we just decided that this is the only um, prospect or the only avenue we can take to uh -huh. get things done. Okay. Right? And, we, and more importantly, we, are, we take our role as of teaching students very seriously and they think we, we know that they're watching us and they know that we are all frustrated a lot with them with the conditions and they're wondering why do we yes. why do we we not take a stand they have said this to us yeah they are frustrated they've explained it to us and they tell us so students have said they are depressed to come here we don't feel like we're in a good learning environment and we are right 